What's going on everybody? This is a quick video I wanted to make on the DD-15 and this actually applies to the D to the DD-13, okay? It doesn't matter. They're very similar in the way they're set up. Now, if you ever have to remove the dual overhead cams and the cam housing, okay? Obviously this cam housing is not mon mounted on the cylinder head, but I wanted to make this video because it's a lot easier for me to illustrate this here and now while I have it out. So once you set your timing, if you watch my other video on how to do a valve adjustment, it shows you how to set the timing on the lower end. And then up here, once you take everything apart, okay, you're gonna notice, once you put everything back, you're gonna put everything back together and you need to set the time on your dual overhead cams, you're gonna notice on the exhaust side. Now this is always your exhaust, which is the passenger intake on the driver's side, okay? On the actual gears or the teeth, however you wanna call it or look at it, you're gonna notice on the exhaust side, there is a little triangle, okay? I colored it yellow. You may wanna do the same thing. It makes it a lot easier, a lot more visible when you're lining up your, your marks or your hash marks. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You're not gonna see this triangle on any other tooth. So if you rotate this thing all the way around, you're not gonna find it, okay? If you don't find it, what you will find, let me, get, let me go back here really quick. You're gonna find some paint on there from the factory, okay? That's just the way they do it. For whatever reason, that's how they did it when they put the, the engine together, however, 100,000 miles ago, okay? But you're not gonna find the triangle anywhere on here, okay? So if you don't find that triangle, your timing is not correct. So you're gonna obviously drop these. Now, you're not gonna be able to rotate this just like I'm doing here, because underneath, right where the two gears meet, you're gonna have the gear that's on the back of the cylinder head. So obviously, it's not gonna let you rotate. So you're gonna have to manually lift up and then set it down properly and then you're gonna look for that mark there okay there's that little mark now on the intake side this is a little tricky because this has this little timing gear or this plate okay your sensor your cam position sensor which is right down in there it's not there right now but what you would see is right there on that side actually it is there but what you would see what you would see on that side is going to be right here okay this is your sensor so that sensor is going to read the rotations all these little pieces here it's going to read all that shit so that's why you're not going to see the the uh the triangle you will see it on the back end over here so when you remove this cam you're going to see that what i want to do and what i always do is i get again yellow marker white marker whatever works for you you're going to paint the tooth and just follow that same color right over there okay that's just, again, to make it a little more visible, make it a lot easier for you to see what you're doing so when you're setting your time, you don't mess it up. And this is what you're going to use when you set your timing on your dual overhead cams. Okay, this is gonna go on one end. I'll show you where that goes and how to use it. Now, this is gonna go on the other end. Now, those marks that I showed you on the gears or on the teeth for the triangles, okay, you are gonna line those up with these white hash marks. Okay, there's a part number for this. It may change and supersede as something different, but this will work for the DD-13, but certainly will work for the DD-15, okay? You're gonna see the part number on there, the 470 number. That's the part number for this, okay? I'm gonna show you where this goes right now. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Let's go let's walk over and take a look here, okay? Now again, before you actually lay down your dual overhead cams, okay? So imagine that these aren't going to be there. This obviously will be there, okay? So what you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and lay down your tool, okay? Now you're gonna notice there's two screws on there and those two are, those are going to match up right there. Your timing marks on the tool will always be there, okay? Why? Because again, this is set and, and held secure by these two bolts. Now let's say you lay down your exhaust and you realize it's not matching up. Well, no kidding, it's because your timing is off. So again, you're gonna lift this up and you're gonna rotate it ever so gently just to one tooth. Now you want it to line up as best as possible, okay? Very rarely does it not match up, okay? It's, it, it almost always will match up 99% of the time. Now that's pretty much how you set your exhaust and your intake. Now this is a little funny because if you take, take a look at that, okay, look at, we're off by about half a tooth. So again, you're gonna lift it up, you're gonna rotate, and then you're gonna go ahead and set it or center it right there to match up with the other timing mark. Okay, now again, that's all you gotta do. That's literally it, there's nothing more to it. It's not complicated. That's your intake, overhead cam, 
That's your exhaust overhead cam. And again, you're gonna need something like this. Now, some guys don't use it. They wanna just use a little yellow mark here. They'll mark the housing and they'll say, hey, that's it. If that's the way you do it, uh, you know, hey, good luck to you. But again, this is something that I use all the time. It, it pays for itself. And again, that's how you set up the timing on the dual overhead cam. Okay, now at this point, you can set everything else that you need to set, which would be the bridges, okay, all the different bridges that go. Then you can set your rocker arms, your exhaust, your intake, do your overhead, and go from there. Okay, now again, this video is just strictly showing you how to set the timing. Okay, now the other piece of equipment that comes with the timing tool for your cams is this looking, this little fine tool here, okay? Literally, it gets installed right in there. Okay, if you're gonna notice right here, literally cut out perfectly for it. And it's also cut out perfectly for it in there. Now, if you look down inside, you're gonna see that little opening, okay? And those little openings, that's where these little black pieces are going to sit, okay? Once you install it, okay, it should literally just go right in. You shouldn't be able to fight with it. It, shouldn't, it should be nice, flush, and smooth. Okay, now if you notice, it's gonna be off just a little bit. Now you want it to be as flat as possible. And there's a little opening there if you wanna secure that with a screw or bolt, I should say. And once you do that, your timing is set. At that point, lay down all the bridges, torque them down and go from there, okay? Now, if you are off just a little bit, this would sit crooked, okay? It wouldn't sit flush. Either one side would be raised, okay? The other side would be raised, or when you go to remove this, okay, you're gonna struggle with it. It should pretty much slide in and slide out, okay? If it doesn't, then again, you might be off on one of the, one of the gears, one of the teeth, just by, just by a hair, okay? And then what'll happen there again is you're gonna need to remove and set it properly. And again, this needs to sit, and then that'll confirm your timing pretty much all the way around and then you can start from there, okay? If you guys have any questions, hit me up, let me know. Thanks for watching.